Caleb, just uh, you guys didn't you guys were struggling those first couple weeks to come away with turnovers. You guys come out with four in this one. You're able to get one. You created another. Just what was working on the back end this week? Uh, this week, we basically went out there, practiced as hard as we can. You know, we kept faith in God. You know, and prayed. And we went out there, put it on the field, stood on business, and that's that's how it went. This was it. What what uh, what kind of differences were there? You guys, I'm sure, were trying to do a lot of that before the first couple of weeks, but just kind of what changed with that with that back group to where you guys were having, able to have a little more success? Well, when you lose, you kind of don't like losing. You know what I'm saying? You, we don't plan to lose whoever we play, so that's the standpoint. When we lose, we don't like losing. We're gonna go out there harder than before, keep going hard, keep going hard, harder than the next week, harder than the last week we win. That's that's the plan. Caleb, Coach Beard sat here just a moment ago and said he's known you for like eight years. What's the history behind uh, between you and Coach Beard? Uh, so the history is it started high school, sophomore year. One of my first offers were, you know, when he was back at one of his recent schools in Louisville, Coach Petrino. And from that point on, wherever I was, he would, you know, check on me or I'd check on him and we'll talk and how the process of my college career is going. And that's how we stay connected and we grew from there. And now I'm here with him. You ever watch anything on him being a DB? Uh, Coach Bear? <laughs> nah. No? <laughs> nah. No video or anything? Nah. I probably watch my uncle or somebody that I know or that I can learn from. You know? I'm just saying, you know, find the beard video and compare yourself, see if there's any technique stuff you can criticize him on. Uh. No, nah, I ain't gonna do that to him. <laughs> <laughs> no, just uh, you bring up your family and uh, just see what's kind of the family history of what oh. it's about. So, my uncle actually, I have two uncles that made it, went pro. Uh, John Covington, uh, he played the Indianapolis Colts and the 49ers for a minute in the NFL. And he played at Notre Dame as well in uh, college. And then, my uncle, other uncle, Brian Covington, he made it pro as well. So I have a very big family full of athletes that just is very competitive. That's what we do. And that's how, that's how it is. Did you ever reach out to them? Did you talk to them often about style or play? Or hey, can you give me some you know, technique tips from the top and how that can affect your game? For sure. Uh, I just recently uh, went down to see my family. And um, they told me some tips. And whenever I go back home to Florida, I stay with my uh, uncle that stay, uh, that been in the NFL, and we go out to the field and we do some stuff, and he get my feet right. And that's how it be every 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 break, really. Jacob, just a few days coming off that big game, and you get Player of the Week. Um, we've been talking about how it's one of the best offensive performances the school seen. Just. Uh, um, just good. Have you been able to come down from that, focus on SIU, or just kind of how have you taken in uh, what you were able to do the other day? Yeah, uh, we got in yesterday and watched the film with our position groups, and it was a lot of fun to see all the plays we made. Um, obviously scored a bunch of points, put up a ton of yards, but it was also really good to see that there was some stuff we can still work on. We obviously turned the ball over twice to start the game, um, which is something we have to clean up. And then there was even a couple pass plays that I could have hit. And like it was just good to see that we did a bunch of good stuff, but there's also some stuff to clean up and we can be better at. Are you on the smiles about the good things you did, or do you look at those seven incompletions? You're just like, what I do there? Yeah, honestly, I focus. I mean, those stick with me more. Um, I obviously made some good plays, but there was also some plays where I could have had back and could have thrown touchdown to one of our tight ends, could have done a couple other things differently. So. Listening to you say that reminds me of playing golf with buddies, right? Everybody that plays golf is like, man, if I just made this yep. putt, if I executed this chip, I could have played that much better. Right. Why is that the beauty in the frustration of that moment? I'm not sure, and I do that when I play golf too. So um, I know exactly what you're talking about, but I think it's just something as competitors, you, I mean, the the miss, the one miss sticks in your head more than the the three makes, I guess. So it's just something as a competitor, you're always looking to take the next step forward. And if you're not, you're going to get passed up by somebody else. So I think it's something on our offensive side of the ball, we do really well as a unit. Um, and it's just, we, we honestly just want to take the next step.
right, this next step means you're not just playing Utah Tech, right? You play SIU, right. great team, ranked team, the first of two really good conference opponents you're going to play. How do you try to step up your game, but not force anything when you're playing somebody like an SIU? Yeah, um, it's really just executing each play, not trying to do too much, um, knowing what my assignment is, knowing what I'm supposed to be looking at, and then delivering the ball on time. Uh, if it's a bad play, don't make the bad play worse. It's okay just to throw the ball out of bounds sometime. Um, and I, I would say that's the number one thing to focus on for me. Just play my game and don't try to do too much. And since you play golf, and you understand this, right? Mm -hmm. Golf, no one's rushing at you. No right. one wants to get from a golf ball anyways. But these guys on Saturday want to kill you. So, but how does that same mindset you talk about, of not forcing too much, but staying in the moment, how does golf and football have that same competitive mindset? Yeah, I think golf and playing quarterback actually have, I mean, even closer than any position on the field. Um, you just have to stay focused and stay in the moment uh, and just execute the, the shot or the play in front of you. Um, you don't want to try to do something you can't because then bad things happen. So again, just execute the play, do what you're supposed to do. Um, don't make a bad play worse. And then when you do that, that's when the really good plays do happen. Jacob, a lot was made over offensive line play from last year to this year. You've been lining up behind those five guys now for three games. How does it look from last year to this year, what you're seeing out of those front five guys? Yeah, we have some really good players up front, some bigger boys up front than we used to have. Um, and they're also a unit that, I mean, gets along really well. They hang out together. They Some of them live together. Uh, it's a fun unit to be a part of, and it's a – it's a fun unit to get to play behind, and they're a unit that responds on the sideline too. We had uh, those two turnovers to start the game, and I went up to them and was like, "Hey, this you guys are playing a good game. We got to take care of the ball. Um, just execute one play at a time. Let's go score every drive from now on." And they and they like looked me in the eyes and were like, "All right, let's do it. Let's go." So we got time for one more question. Do you like a game where you don't have to run? Uh, I mean, you're not running at all back there. Yeah, yeah, it feels See, good. You're not trying to – just uh, not having to rush. It's not – your that's not obviously not your strength. Mm -hmm. You're more of a pocket guy, but you can run. So right. is, is that something that you're just like – you want to do that all the time? Uh, I mean, yeah, it felt good to not really have to get past the line of scrimmage too much. I was able to stand back there and deliver the ball. Um, obviously, like you said, I'll run when I need to. But my strength is standing in the pocket and delivering throws. So when they give me the ability to do that, good things happen.